Okay, um, I am back and I'm going to take you through the next steps. We've made our shapes here um, using the shape menu um, and then adjusting the shape fill, the shape outline, and um, you know, and then just uh, adjusting the size and shape through the edit points for the triangles. Um, key points here are again to hold down your shift key when you are clicking and holding down and then dragging out or in on a shape to make it bigger or smaller so that you don't change the proportions of both the square well all of these right the square you, you have the same proportions intact and you just really either are scaling it up or down um the next thing we need, right, we ultimately are going to just click and drag. If you want to rotate, this is where that you can see here, you're going to grab that and then you can just use your mouse to turn this. Um, you will want to resize these, right? You can take these and overlap them, right? So you get just a partial, you know, part of the shape um, appearing in the compositional field. Let's look at this though. <laughs> it's really difficult, right? If you have all this stuff hanging out and visible, right, outside the compositional frame to see what it's gonna look like when it's sort of sliced off, right? And there's nothing here. Um, so we're gonna actually make um, a, a new shape, right? To act as a, like almost like a mat, right? That we um, are able to, or a frame, that we're able to drag over this so that we can see what's in this field here and we can obscure um, everything that falls outside of that four inch by four inch field. Um, the way that we will do that, um, again, is to go back up to the shape menu and let's see, and then we can go actually right here, right to this frame um, tool. There, you could do this in any, any number of ways, but this is, um, it seems to be the way that it seems to work just pretty, pretty easily. Um, and what you can do then, I guess, is go, oops, sorry, here. Well, we can just start here, right, for right now. Um, and we can, let's see if we do this, if we make this, what, six by six. Oh, no. Uh, that's fine. We can make this six by six. Let's try this for now. What we can, I think, what we can do, yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're going to make that bigger. We can make it six by six. We can just take it over here and really just, um, you know, drag, well, sorry, uh, use the yellow, this yellow button, right, the yellow tab, and we're going to try to just drag that to um, so it will be like four by four, just a little smaller. Okay, that's pretty good, right? So you kind of want to see the black outline. Um, you can use your keyboard arrows, right, to just move up and down and and left and right. Um, you know, you can see if we uh, can tweak that a tiny bit. All right. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Now, I don't want this to be blue looking. You could make this thicker if you wanted to, right? So if I wanted to make the, you know, maybe I should make the, you know, maybe it's like eight by eight. Um, if it goes off the page, so what, right? Um, and then we can still go back here and we, oops, hold on. There we go. And um, we still need to make it so that we have, um, we make it a real, you know, kind of a thick frame, um, and we still need to make the opening just, you know, so just real tight around uh, the compositional boundaries of that four inch by four inch thing. Now you'll see with this thicker, wider frame, that allows me to just obscure more of what falls outside here. Um, I suppose you could leave this blue. I find that a little bit irritating, uh, frankly. Uh, I'm just gonna, this is bothering me a little bit. Okay, that's better. 
Um, and I'm going to just make this, um, I'm going to go to the shape fill. I'm not going to make it black. Um, I'm going to go ahead, you can make it gray, right? Some kind of medium gray. Um, I might make it a little darker. That's fine, right? At least then you see a neutral. Um, now, right, that then allows, if I take this, oh, the only issue here is we need to get our shapes. Right, just move that over a little bit and pull your shapes out so that we can still see the component shapes that we need to use and we can still access these. Um, this then allows me to, to do this. I can go ahead and I can hold down shift, let's say, and then I can drag this out, right, and make this shape huge, right? And not, and I can go ahead, let's see, where's my uh rotate I can rotate it right and so then if I do have stuff overlapping uh or that's sticking out right of beyond the frame it's far enough away that I can really focus in here right I can also um it's sort of enlarge this right I can kind of move this over um and probably move it so that it you know I can drag in my window um, a little bit too here so I can kind of get rid of you know that but pretty much I can look and see here without distraction of you know this whole area okay um, so then I can you know kind of rotate this I could go ahead and make it a little smaller if I want I mean and that changes things too okay so here I'm going maybe I'm gonna go like this right Maybe I'm going to just bring the bottom in, let's see. Well, let's try this for now, right? Um, and see what else I can, if I can get this to work with these other shapes. Um, right, I can come ahead in here, right? I can use this triangle. Oh, that's weird. Um, so now you're just thinking about composing. Obviously, this is you know not symmetrical, so I'm doing sort of the asymmetrical um, you know composition um, for right here. Uh, oh wait, maybe that. No. And again, I really don't know right <laughs> what yet what my possibilities are. That's not going to look so good. Um, oh, that might be okay, right? That makes this actually start to be an interesting looking shape. Um, you will start to realize that, you know, especially by letting some of these shapes go off the edge, um, you start to be able to make the white shape or the white area seem more like solid shape than it did before, okay? Um, and so that's kind of an interesting um you know, thing that happens as a result of letting your, you know, uh, letting these shapes go off the edge and get bigger. Um, okay. So then I, again, I'm not holding this up as any kind of great, um, composition here. Let it down shift and hold this. Oh, maybe that. Hmm. Maybe. Just yeah, I'm sorry, I know I'm silent here, but I'm just just doing some little tweaking just to show you kind of what your process is going to be like. Um, okay, so now I'm kind of starting to drag in my last shape um, and you know to see how I might want to handle this. Uh, I'm gonna maybe I make it really big, <laughs> right? Oh, oh no, sorry, I grabbed the wrong thing here. Sorry. Just move that back. Um, okay. 
Maybe I use that to just really make it seem like one of those shapes has a curved edge to it, right? I kind of feel like this is not quite big enough, right? And so maybe I want to uh, take this and actually make it broader. Oh, that's a little bit better, I think. Um, that's not better. See. All right. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> you know, so so we're starting to kind of um, you know think of some other or you know start we're starting to develop some interesting possibilities here. Um, I can take this. I can actually flip this easily by going to arrange. Right. This is another tool. If I go to arrange. I can go down to either what I can go to rotate and then I can do flip uh, horizontally or flip vertically. Oh, oh, okay. Or I could rotate also here. Sorry. Oh, that gives me in the same place, right? Oh, okay. Here, that's what I want to do. Um, just to see sort of what the other possibilities are here. And there's many, right? I mean, I could change so many things about this design you know, right now, um, right, and I could, I could go ahead and just then start to move other things, you know, maybe I move this out, like, uh-oh, where did I, I lost my square here, okay. um, right, maybe I go, here, maybe I go here. Oh, that's a little bit better, right? Than it was. Um, and so, uh, and so on, and so on, right? So you kind of get a sense then of, you know, different possibilities um, that are out there. That's probably better than other choices that I, you know, right now. That's maybe an okay option, right? It's asymmetrical, meaning it's not the same um, if we divide this across a vertical or a horizontal axis. It's not a mirror image, right? Um, it's sort of uh, there's there's not that mirroring that happens. Uh, you know, I could decide to. I still think that's better than having them be separated right now. Um, I guess I could back that up and maybe trim that a little bit. That might be a little bit better, maybe not. Right, I could go ahead and, and undo both of those. I think that's where I ended up the first time. Oh, no. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, hold on. Redo. Right, we do object move. There we go. Right, so I still think that's like one of my better choices here. Um, you know, again, this is just from a few minutes of work. So <laughs> obviously, I and you can see how much I've moved things around. I haven't changed the nature of the shapes all that much. So I really want to explore, you know, a full range of of possibilities. Um, this is pretty abstracted right now. It doesn't bring to mind. Um, you know, representational imagery like a road or a, um, you know, a, a landscape or uh, buildings and, you know, or trees or something like that, something nameable. But you certainly could put these together so they start to suggest um, certain representational images. So I hope this really helps you. Um, you know, we could also do this on Illustrator, but frankly, it's... <laughs> I think this is easier doing this on uh, just PowerPoint and you can really get the same result you know, more quickly and with less fuss than, um, than Illustrator would allow. But um, that's another possibility. I would suggest if you, so here's, your, here's an asymmetrical one for the, that in-class exercise. I would probably suggest one slide, right, for each, each of these, right? So we've done this on one slide. Make another slide, do your symmetrical one for the in-class exercise. Then you'll make two more slides, and those will be for assignment 1A 
and that will be what the symmetrical composition and then the asymmetrical composition for um, assignment 1a and those shapes right are different shapes than the in-class exercise you're going to be using three triangles and three squares right all of them the same color right so they're either going to be, you know, they're probably going to be either black shapes on a white background or white shapes on a black background. Okay. Um, I hope you have found this useful. And um, again, good luck.